Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you back. And this is going to be a real quick uh, thank you video uh, to one of my subscribers, Scott. That just doesn't sound weird. I'm not, I never thought I'd ever, ever be saying that. <laughs> one of my subscribers. Uh, it sounds so cool. I don't know what to think about that. But hey, Scott H. from the left coast sent this reel 3,000 miles all the way from California to New Jersey. And he told me what's in it, so I kind of have a clue, but I don't know. Maybe there's something else cool in here. I have no idea. I don't know what to expect. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. And I'm going to be very careful with this section here because I don't know how it's wrapped. And I really appreciate you guys helping me out on this. I mean, doing these kind of reviews, it adds up. It definitely adds up. So contributions from you guys is uh, greatly appreciated. All right, so we have the Abu Garcia. <laughs> Oops, I have to figure out a way to blur that out. Hey, yeah, sorry. Hey Nick, please be nice to my Revo. At the same time, have fun with it, Scott. <laughs> like I told you on my uh, back channel, I'll treat it like it wasn't mine, and she'll be better for it. These are my Revo MGXs. Um, before I show you what this one is, I liked it enough to go ahead and turn it into a dedicated BFS uh, reel. The second the avail spool came out, I was all over it. Uh, I like the reel, I really do. <laughs> this little uh, thumb screw kind of reminds me of the Tackle Tour review where they're down the Amazon and they're saying there was a problem with the reel with the thumb screw loosening up. All right, don't ask me how that's even possible. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll stop talking and get to the fun stuff. Wow. All right, so he's got the tape so the real seat doesn't uh, chew it up. This thing is tiny. Oh, my God. It's smaller than the MGX. Oh, my God. That's... I'll trade you. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. Wowie, wowie, wowie. Four brakes. Scott, leave in the comments. Let me know if you want me to polish this up for you. I found that if I polish this braking uh, disc, it actually helps with the consistency with the uh, ICV B4 braking. Wow. This this is a sweet little reel. I'll do you a favor, I'll uh, clean up the bearings too. Wow. It it feels like a toy. <laughs> it's there's nothing to it. There is nothing to it at all whatsoever. Oh, that's snazzy. Like carbon fiber drag star? I mean... A little clicky clicky. So yeah, this is the... Abu Garcia Revo MGX Extreme 2. Pretty little guy, for sure. I mean, this thing got it. This thing's under five ounces. It's got to be. I mean, no line on. What's the weight on this thing? It's feeling like it's four and a half, roughly four and a half. I'm pretty. If my if my other if my one of my mutant superpowers is to not be able to put things into boxes correctly when I'm done using them, um, 
my second mutant superpower is guesstimating weights. So I'm going to say 4.55. Get what? Huh? Four ounces? A scale broken? Say a four point one. Hundred and seventeen grams? Wow. That's insane. I don't think there's a lighter reel made. Except for the doyo. Doyo oh boyo. Oh man, this is a sweet little reel. My friend all the way from California, I thank you. This is greatly appreciated. I almost dropped it. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a good time. So just to give you a quick size comparison, this is the original MGX. They did have an MGX Extreme 1 that was based on the MGX, just kind of lighten it up. I think this one, I haven't seen the new MGX. I haven't played with that yet. And let me see if I grab another small little 5 ounce reel. This is a 5.6 ounce steez, just to give you an idea. Holy moly. It's like a toy. It's tiny. I like it. How is she gonna compare? Hmm. Now, truth be told, uh, I like the Abu Garcia, the IVCB4 brake, but it's not my favorite. It can sometimes be inconsistent. And when you're dealing with light lines and stuff like that, you backlash with 10 pound braid, you just really screwed up that braid. And you can, you'll be pulling your hair out sometimes getting a backlash out when you're, again, when you're throwing eighth ounce, you know, baits. 316 ounce baits with it. Now I wonder how low this can go. I'm probably going to go 15 pound braid on this. I don't know if I'll go down to 10. But this is going to be a fun little reel to fish. For sure. Scott, my brother from another mother on the left coast, 3,000 miles away. You the man? Thank you very much. I shall treat her not like I treat my reels. And I'll clean her up on the inside too when I'm done taking her apart. I'll, I'll purge the, if, and again, leave in the comments, if you want me to speed up the bearings, uh, I'll purge them and I'll lube them up the way I lube my, uh, my bearings. Beautiful reel. Brand spanking new. Now from that side profile, what kind of car does that remind you of? Whenever I look at, at, at reels, I always try to picture what kind of car they would be. Doesn't always work, but made in Korea. Hey, I ain't knocking it. Thanks again. I can now finally put the best of the best of the best to bed. So I'm going next up, next review. I'm going to do the Daiwa Steez SVTWS versus the Abu MGX Extreme 2 versus, where is it? It's somewhere. Is that it? No, that's a Metanium. It's somewhere in here. Uh, <laughs> Shimano and Terra's. So yeah, so the best of Abu, the best of Daiwa, and the best of Shimano. Casting distances measured on a field, drag tests, performance on the water tests, all in one review. And we're going to take them apart and show you what they look like on the inside. Thanks, guys. As always, I appreciate your time. I know your time is valuable. Uh, I am incredibly thankful to the guys who sent me these reels. 
Uh, if you can't send a reel and you want to help out, hit the like button, subscribe. You can even go to my Patreon channel. Uh, you'll, uh, there's a little link I'll put up in the uh, somewhere around here, I guess. Uh, if you want to, you know, submit a buck or two. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I can do giveaways with really nice stuff. Um, whereas if the Patreon goals hit certain tiers, I'll give away... I'll give away Scott's real house. <laughs> it's mine. It's all mine. Just kidding. But no, like say there's like 1500 bucks. Uh, I'll give away a, a, whatever three reels are in the review. I'll give away SDs. I'll give away an Abu MGX Extreme 2. Uh, pick one, whichever one's your preference. And let me know the tackle shop. Do you want me to buy it from? And I'll buy it from them and send it out to you. So that's what I'm trying to do as far as the Patreon back channel. So if you want to make a couple, you know, make a couple dollar donation, it's going to all the work I do. Uh, to give you an idea, I just bought a $2,500 laptop uh, because I can't stand dealing with the uh, video rendering issues. Um, I'm buying more of those junk reels because I'm just not a fan of these dishonest companies trying to take advantage of the kids with these $100 and $80 reels that are really just $20 and $30 piece of junk reels that you can buy from other brands for a fraction of the price. And again, it's a lot of stuff that I don't use. So any little bit will help me keep plugging along uh, at, at, at the same clip that I'm going at. So yeah, thanks again, guys. Like I said numerous times before, I really do uh, appreciate your time and I really do respect your time. I know it's valuable. And thank you for spending it with me. All right, thanks, guys. Enough for me. Take care.